This is Blackbird. DMZ's in visual range. The drop zone is hot. We'll be coming in low and fast. You heard the man. Time to get going. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm good, Fiona. I'm always ready. Always ready. I just want you to explain to me why we're still getting the crap chilled out of us. And I don't want to hear the words authorization, approval, clearance, or in... Now who the hell is this? Chris Jacobs. The son of a U.S. Army colonel and a Korean interpreter, Jacobs joined XF after serving for seven years in the U.S. Army's Combat Applications Group. Jacobs physical training allows him to withstand bullet wounds and shrapnel that would incapacitate another operative. Today he finds himself hovering over Korea. He's about to jump hover first into the DMZ. His mission is to rendezvous with Colonel Garrett at the Allied Base of Operations. Unfortunately, that base is being shelled to oblivion, and it's not long before Jacobs encounters a North Korean roadblock. He uses his years of combat experience to quickly dispatch this hostile welcome committee. Soon he gets his hands on an RPG. He's about to introduce his new Korean friends to a good old fashioned 4th of July celebration. Further down the road, he encounters Allied soldiers in a firefight with Koreans. All of a sudden, the Allied helicopter hovering overhead comes crashing down. Watch it again. The Allied soldiers are completely caught by surprise. Quickly, Jacobs jumps in and he rescues the remaining soldiers. Jacobs clears his way through some more NK grunts, and after avoiding explosive rain, he reaches his destination. Not many choose to take their business to North Korea, but Jacobs is not like many. He has now entered the Playground of Destruction, the North Korean DMZ. Hey, all right, just what I need, a professional. Matthias Nilsson! Nilsson is an unproven XAPS agent, but his record scores in the physical portion of the entrance exam show great promise. Nilsson's physical agility and fearless demeanor should make him very effective in the North Korean theater. Today he'll be doing business with this coke-fueled mafia boss. Don't worry, his lieutenant Joseph is reliable. We did some business in Kosovo. Having an acquaintance is nice, but it can only get you so far in East Pyongyang. Nilsson's mission is a North Korean transport truck parked in a facility on the other side of town. Just down the road, Nilsson stumbles upon a street fight straight out of the West Side Story. After dealing with the emplaced weapons and the troops surrounding the area, Nilsson discovers that there was more to this contract than originally met the eye. I found a weapons cache. <laughs> Repo work is no laughing matter, especially when the people you're repossessing your vehicle from are firing at you with AK-47s.
If I am to secure this province for China, I must employ your services or risk losing the initiative. Jennifer Mew. Mew spent the first 12 years of her life in Hong Kong enjoying an aristocratic upbringing in which her parents played a little part. After they divorced, she traveled to England with her mother. Oh. The Chinese are tired of all the noise their neighbors have been causing and they launch an official complaint in the form of an APC tank commandeered by a stone cold merc. Mew makes it known right away that she's the one wearing the pants in this neighborhood. She destroys Stronghold after Stronghold as her tank essentially turns the barrage of AK rounds into bubble wrap. Not even statues are safe on this day. Finally, Mew arrives at the museum, a building dedicated to history has now just become history with the help of an artillery strike. The sleeping dragon has awoken. When there's crime in Bay City, Starsky and Hutch are on the case. You know your day is truly rotten when you see the striped tomato in your rear view mirror. Catch Zebra 3 tonight in Starsky and Hutch. I just love this stuff. No! My pudding! There's hell to pay in Hong Kong when the Yakuza ruin Madoka's pudding. Catch Dragon 01 tonight in Reckless. Well, the two of clubs is just north of here. Uh, we're about to roll out. It's oh, that's unfortunate. Wow, I always felt that from here. The AN have sent me the contract. It'll like. Uh, there's those artillery weapons. Uh, we gotta get to the two first before we can deal with those. Yeah, these guys think the South Koreans are tough. They haven't seen anyone from San Jose yet. Alright, there's a two over there. He's got some friends here. We'll take them out real quick. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! Excellent. He's not going anywhere. Now we call for a nice little toy he's got here. Nice equipment over here. All right, watch your head. All right, now we can end the shelling. All right, good thing we got here just in time. I can't imagine he was licensed for this equipment, so uh, I'm sure it'll be an easy conviction. And uh, he'll be going away for a long time. We've got the location of the three. We'll be going after him now. He's been blackmailing around the people in North Korea. Shouldn't be too fortified, but you can never be too careful. Dangerous place to park. We've got a 
hunting for you. It's all over now. Well, that's that. Excuse me. Roger, this is Expo you just cannot be going around backbailing people. That's not a very nice thing to do. Uh, North Korea is definitely a better place now with him behind bars. Tally her! Thanks for the vehicle. If you bring us others, we'll make sure you're paid for your trouble. We just got the location of the four from the Russians, so we're gonna go ahead and drop in. Charge. Obviously, this is a delicate situation, so we're gonna need to keep a low profile. On the ground now. The Allies announced today the capture of Jin Ho Yong. Uh, you know, that definitely could have gone better. Uh, yeah, what do you think this is? Get the hell out of my face! Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. He's just a, you know, common thug, so not really much to that. He didn't really know what he was doing.